hour, yeah. Or less. It's better if you do it in less. But yeah. Yes, less hour. is better, yeah. yeah. Oh man, you're in for a treat. And I'm not just talking about this giant ice cream challenge you're looking at. What's going on? Magic Mitch the food adventurer here. And in this food adventure, things are going to get a little ridiculous. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I gotta say, you're in for a treat. And if you happen to see the last ice cream challenge I posted, you're probably going to have a good idea of what you're in for. But before we get into all that, let's get back to the battle at hand, which is taking place at Krish's Restaurant and Ice Cream Parlor in Massapequa, New York. And it's here that I'm facing off against their Kitchen Sink Ice Cream Challenge. And as you can already see, and as the title suggests, this challenge, it gets served to you in an actual kitchen sink. Now growing up as a kid, I was always told that eating anything out of a kitchen sink is a big no-no. But I think this might be the exception. Also with this ice cream challenge, it's got a few things going on that I'm a big fan of. So I'm going to break it down. And first up, we have 10 giant scoops of ice cream. Then you get to choose three toppings of your choice. And I went with two strawberries and one whipped cream. And I love the fact that you do get options here. Then along with that are two sliced bananas, some waffle wedges, which is also something I'm a big fan of here. Then you get whipped cream, or in my case, more whipped cream. Then to finish it all off, you get sprinkles and cherries. And if I had to be honest, there were a few more cherries than I was expecting, but it's all good. Now, one thing I do have to mention, and this is probably my favorite part of the challenge, is that they take it up a notch with the presentation, as they dazzle it up with some fireworks, which really helps make it more of a spectacle and a grand presentation. Now with this ice cream challenge, you have one hour to finish it all. If you're able to do so, you get the dessert for free, which costs $50. You also get a free shirt and your picture up on their wall of fame. So before I go any further on this challenge, I feel like some general context could be helpful here. So I just want to point out a few things. First, I'm with another food fighter during this occasion, and that is none other than Mr. Wayne Wonder. And he had actually just attempted this challenge right before I did. I got my work cut up. That's the plan. And because it was a bit cramped with being in a booth, which is not something I really care for, I had Wayne take the reins on the camera to help me film this challenge. And also, I didn't really give him any sort of direction on how to film or anything like that. I just let him wing it. And I figured, it'll be okay, I can just fix it while editing. And uh, well, throughout the video, you'll just be able to see for yourself. But hey, it's all good. And Wayne, if you're watching this, you did great. Thanks, buddy. When it came to my choice of toppings, I chose strawberries because I thought those would have a decent change in flavor, especially towards the second half of the challenge. And as for that extra whipped cream, my thinking was basically like, hey, it's whipped cream. That's gotta be the easiest thing to eat, right? And uh, yeah, as you can see, I changed my tune on that choice once I realized it was becoming more of a hindrance rather than being a helpful assistance in helping me defeat this kitchen sink ice cream challenge. Extra whipped cream with a terrible choice. <laughs> it just thickens it all up. And it's like, I thought it was just gonna be easier to get down. I wasn't sure. I thought you were gonna get double strawberries. I got double strawberries. Maybe treble strawberry. I don't feel like there's not much in here. Yeah, no, there wasn't a lot in mine either. Uh, I only got one strawberry. It's just cheering for you, Mitch. <laughs> so since things were a bit close quarters during this challenge, there were a decent number of people walking by and chatting with us, and making comments about the challenge and showing me some much needed support. He's eating a big, he's doing the kitchen sink challenge. Being reckless. Oh my god! Cheer him on, he needs support. Oh, this is delicious! It was so good! How many more napkins do you need? What's that? How many more napkins do you need? Oh, um, you got them all. You got them all. Oh, you got them all. 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 You
Can I take you in? Hmm? Can I take you in? I, I could actually. <laughs> well, good news is I don't have disaster pants yet, which I thought I would, but. I might have disaster pants. I feel the gurgles. Yeah, I'm starting to feel. So, yeah, turns out getting the whipped cream was a pretty poor choice. You know, I thought at first it would be a smart choice, but honestly, it just made things much worse in my case. Because number one, the flavor of it was really getting to me fairly quickly. And number two, the mind games. What I mean by that is because once the whipped cream started mixing in with the ice cream, it just seemed like no matter how many bites I was taking out of this thing, scoop after scoop, mouthful after mouthful, it looked like I wasn't making any progress whatsoever. Bye, Ben. Least flattering wink to the ladies. <laughs> Shivering at all over the years? I was. Well, not too bad. So I'm generally, my body is generally hot. I am not a skinny mini. I've got a lot of tire. Got this funny. Because we have the wrong size spoon. You did a bigger one? <laughs> That thing helped, I'll be honest. So, funny enough, I actually found that one of the tougher parts I have with ice cream challenges isn't so much the sugar or the flavor, though those can certainly be obstacles during an ice cream challenge, but I actually find that it's keeping warm and not getting the shivers. Because once my stomach starts to churn, that's when I really transform from Magic Mitch to Find Me a Ditch Mitch. Thirty-four. What is the record? It's 18, 17 minutes and fifty-eight seconds. Oh my God! Well, he should give up. There's nothing to win. No, as long as he finishes it in an hour, it's free. Ice? Oh, and otherwise he has to pay what? Fifty dollars. We don't want to pay. I finished mine in twenty-four minutes. I don't want to pay. No. Why wasn't Mike being slightly lactose intolerant? Chatty, but I'm gonna, I'll get, get the please after me. <laughs> He's gonna eat the cherries too, yeah, right? Those are the good parts. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> okay, listen, guys. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Something's not right in Texas. <laughs> For me, I found it easier when everything was just liquid. So, a little over halfway through this challenge, and I'm starting to feel the effects of the cold. And despite it looking like I haven't made much progress, I'm trying to fight off those mind games by keeping things light and having a few good laughs with Wayne. Time to pull the Diet Coke out. Not late, late in this challenge. I don't know. <laughs> That's up to you, buddy. <laughs> Change up the flavors, the carbonation. It might help. Anything to win. And uh, <laughs> just in case you couldn't tell, I'm not actually considering the Diet Coke here. I think that would actually be a terrible idea. Good lord almighty. I could only imagine just how badly that would ruin me in my insides. And you need documentation oh, on this? Oh, oh god, no. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. What the heck? Does he to eat the whole thing? I hope so. Is he part of a contest? Do you win money if you eat all of them? It, it's you free if you free. finish. It's what? It's free if you finish. Oh, it's free. Yeah. You can't it, finish that? I'd be disappointed because I finished mine. Oh, did you? You better finish. <laughs> mm, let me see. About 42 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah. This one was hard. And whatever that sink is, supposedly five pounds, but I think it was way more. <laughs> I don't think that was five pounds. I don't know. It was a lot. Because the, the other problem is... I was hoping it was five pounds. Yeah. He's hoping it's five pounds. You can't get burps out because the cream's so thick. So, uh, 
Well, my situation here is not looking great. But on the plus side, despite how miserable I look, I did enjoy the challenge. I especially enjoyed the fact that with this challenge, there was so much variety to it, with the whipped cream, the strawberries, and the waffles too. This is a very hard challenge. I was struggling. If Mitch doesn't finish, it's because he didn't use a big spoon like me. You didn't put that whole thing in your mouth. That's what she said. Ethan said, turn on the warm water and melt everything. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Mitch, Mitch, I'm gonna do it, Randy. Mitch, Mitch, yeah. Mitch, Mitch, but not in a condescending way. Mitch. <laughs> like he does with everybody? <laughs> yeah. I'm legit rooting for you. What's I that? was in pain. pain. Yeah, it's... I was in pain. It's so much for me. This was heavy. Going with extra whipped cream was not a good choice. Whipped cream. No extra anything, man. <laughs> Exhale. Breathe well. Come on, bud. Hey, you got it out. I can't even do that. So, yeah. This is a prime example of what Find Me a Ditch Mitch looks like. It's not ideal, but I did know that in this case, my chances were pretty slim early on. But I didn't want to spoil it. Whether I win or fail a food challenge, I always strive to make the videos entertaining and fun to watch. That could be in the form of a dominating performance, which was clearly not being shown here, or something that was a bit more on the humorous side, which I really hope I was able to capture for you in this video. And if you did make it this far, let me know in the comments down below by using the hashtag MyFavoritePart and let me know what was your favorite part of the video. I was also thinking, you know, like last night I did eat a lot also, so I didn't come in with a full empty stomach. I ate like a whole bag of uh, Snyder's pretzels last night. <laughs> they were good. Oh my god. He's trying his best. Yeah, well, good luck with that one. Thank, Thank you. you. See, all these people want you to win, buddy. How are these sweet people? Just slime it and then have them all regret that decision. <laughs> I like this place because it's like having your grandparents here. <laughs> Distract me, Kesha. <laughs> One minute, buddy. Four minute. You can get ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Sorry, bud. That's the white flag of the feet. Tried his best, and I'm very proud of him. Unlike Randy. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Randy. Oh, well, we're keeping that in there. <laughs> There's a little ice cream baby in there. 